Welcome to another episode of Band Director Bootcamp, the podcast with productivity and wellness tips for busy band directors. I'm your host, Leslie Moffat, and I'm really grateful to be sharing this platform with you. As busy band directors, we know you don't have time to watch lengthy professional development webinars, so we share 20-minute tidbits with takeaways you can use to support you with professional longevity and a healthier life. And I got somebody here today who's going to give you some tips that are going to save you so much time. You're just going to be so ecstatic. So let me tell you, today is James James Hargreaves is here with me. He's the Associate Band Director at Smithson Valley Middle School in Texas. He's been teaching for almost two decades, so he's got some experience. He's really curious about learning and improving how things are done, and we're all going to benefit from that today. And he's also the very proud dog dad to Ramona. So uh, we're talking dogs right before we started the podcast today. So um, thanks for being here today, James. Well, thanks, Leslie, for inviting me. This is awesome. Yeah. Um, Before we dig in and we tell people... um, uh, a lot of stuff. I just want to tell people why I want to stay stay tuned here because he's going to talk about uh, James's goal for you today is that you're going to know that you can dive in to technology and and we're going to talk about with some specific things you can use to save time. This product or this podcast is all about productivity and wellness tips and you can't take care of yourself if you got too much shit on your plate. So James is going to tell mm-hmm. you how to do it faster, better, more efficiently even when you're tired after a long day of work. So James, you're going to save the world today. I just can't wait. <laughs> I hope so. Before you do, tell us about, like, give us the quick synopsis of your journey to where you got today. Yeah. Um, Well, I've been doing 20 years of teaching. And when I started, I kind of got thrown into the fire at a 4A high school band program, got hired in late July um, and had to just learn on the go. And I went in there. There was no student list preps. Um, There was no like organizational stuff that I could use to help manage the program, which as an assistant was kind of like, that's your number one thing. The head directors do the rehearsal a lot of the time. The assistants learn from that and manage a lot of stuff. Um, And there wasn't a lot of tools. So I had to kind of just go with it as I could. I started learning how to use uh, Excel and numbers and taking the student list from the grade book, plugging in kids' instruments and all their information, right? And that was well before Google Forms was a thing. That was well before any kind of other information was there. And so I was just having to copy and paste a lot. And then slowly over a couple of years, I started learning a few other tips and tools to organize that stuff better, to sort my kids better so that I wouldn't have to spend hours like doing health forms and typing in data. And that was just a stressor on top of everything else you have to do, right? So I took a couple of online classes of how to use just Google Sheets was one of the ones I started using because there's a lot more that started to come out and there's a lot more tools you can use in Google Sheets that was from... uh, became familiar with over time. Um, a few basic formulas this is what started with it. And next thing you know, I can take you know all my health forms, I can type it in once, and then all the formulas can put it on the main sheet so I can use that for bus lists. Um, I can have pre-set up lists for any event. If we're going on a trip, if we're going to go play, uh, I teach in a middle school now. And so there's times we go and play with the high school. I need to know who's going and I can just have a Google form linked to my main list automatically. And so then I can just pull up a print list with two clicks instead of it being a 30 minute experience. Um, So little things like that add up a lot. And it's been a slow growth of learning all this stuff. And I just do a little bit every, every summer, I do a little bit more testing and trial and error, um, look online. And and now with chat GPT being available, it's just accelerated the ability to add new things to my repertoire of skills, I guess, in terms of formulas and functions and how to use spreadsheets for more than just a note-taking device. You guys, I had to laugh because on his form he filled out when he when it because I have a form people do and uh, before the podcast and he's like he writes on there and it's a quote spreadsheets are fun and I'm like I don't know do I really want to talk to somebody that gets excited about spreadsheets but then he started talking about all the things they can do that I've not really tapped into and taken advantage of. So I can see why you kind of nerd out about this. Um, Cause back in the olden days, when I started, as I was telling you, it was all paper and pencil. Um, and so each of these leaps, like you're talking about just, it's, mm-hmm. it's amazing to me. Um, and we, as band directors, we don't have time or the energy to like duplicate our efforts, which is if you're yes. not using these things, you know, you were talking about formulas and, and, and all of this a little bit earlier. Um, for those of us that aren't super familiar with using Excel for anything except typing in super simple, like 
class list or something like mm-hmm. that. Um, what can formulas do? Why would anybody care about that? Well, like one of the first formulas I learned to use was one called count if, and it's basically you put in there, um, it'll count. Like for example, I, I built a list of all my instruments and all my classes, classes on the horizontal top pane, mm-hmm. instruments on the vertical on the left pane. And I put a count if formula in there and that looks at my main list and would say, well, how many flutes do I have in top band? How many flutes do I have in second band? And all the instruments, and you can just copy and paste that formula over. And now I have basically a piece of paper that I can print out and put over the copy machine. So I don't have to look through, wait, how many, how many trumpets did I have in that class again? And that was something I had when I start started teaching middle school that I would have to like go through and wait, what is it again? And the other director would be asking me that same question because I would live in the spreadsheet so much, I knew the numbers, but he didn't. And so he'd ask me all the time. So finally, I just, let me just make something automatic, print it out. And anytime we have a new kid move in, just print a new one and it keeps it updated. So I literally, one. I literally had uh, two pieces of paper taped on the wall next to my desk with the number of instruments in each class. So yep. when I had to yep. make, you know, field trip forms or, and so, or, or specific things. So I'm going to, now I'm doing it differently now because of you, I'm going <laughs> to figure out how to do some of this because that sounds way cooler than. And, and, and that's way. just one formula among dozens that you can start to use. Cool. Um, I want to share a couple of different tips. And one of the things that you did, I know you, you talked about, you got to do what you got to do that needs to be done. But yes. you also in the background kind of have something running so that if you had spare time, not, you know, or whatever, or to <laughs> kind of keep you on track when things get crazy about, the, it, I call it your days of the week workflow mm-hmm. kind of thing. Tell us a little bit about that and what, how that can help um, yeah. guide, not be the total end all be all, but kind of guide you through some things. Well, you know, some people have talked about, and I've seen this on some band director Facebook pages that are out there, which, by the way, are like the most absolutely coolest thing the last few years to share tips with your with other people. Um, people put out, you know, what do you do with your kids to keep them focused? Do you have maintenance Mondays and testing Tuesdays and warm up Wednesdays, things like that. So for your conference period, for your planning period, I've developed something that I use that's basically money Mondays. So on Mondays, I need to make sure I get all the POs turned in. I talk with the bookkeeper. I focus Mondays to be the day I do all that. Tuesdays would be testing Tuesdays, which is where I basically plan out what we're going to test next um, and kind of, or maybe grade smart music assignments or online assignments. Um, focus on Tuesdays being that. Wednesdays would be, let's see, what, what did I say it was? <laughs> Maintenance Mondays. No. Re- reset. Um, money Mondays, testing Tuesdays. Oh, I could be helpful. I'm just sitting here. Let you struggle through it. Wait, you wrote it. I've got it written on, next to my desk at school. Right? Okay. And website Wednesdays. Website Wednesdays. Yeah, that's my communication day. So I'm going to update our website, send out mass email communications to the parents, and just make sure the social media side is updated. Um, Thursdays. Trip Thursdays. Trip Thursdays. We go All on All the stuff that goes along with that. Yes. Mm. We go on an overnight trip every, every year. We're in San Antonio area. We go to Dallas as an overnight trip. Uh, in May every year. So over time, that there's a lot that goes into preparing for that. But also other trips, we're bands, we go on buses a lot. So Thursdays are that, and Fridays are finale Fridays, which is where I just adjust music, you know, make sure that what I'm about to teach the next week in terms of the kids actually having the music ready is there. So that's just kind of a, a short and dirty way of kind of keeping my brain from jumping all over the place as it likes to do a lot. No, that provides a great anchor. Yes. You know, yes. Honestly, just to, ooh, let me get Grant, because I've sat down before planning period and got, I don't even know what to do today. Yeah. The brain's yeah. dead. If you don't have to think about it, you go there and go, oh, today I need to go see the ASB bookie. Exactly. <laughs> Figure it out. All right. Um, you mentioned something about just tech in general. Just kind of um, talk a little bit about, you know, more than just the spreadsheets, like some other yeah. things that are out there. Um, I, there's so many tools coming out now with, I mean, you got the AI stuff, of course, but there's all, a lot of tools that a lot of people don't know how to use most efficiently. So just take like your computer. There's some settings in there that, you know, I took the time one summer, again, just taking a summer and go, oh, I'm going to learn something new. There's a lot of little nitpicky things you can do to adjust whether you use a, you know, an iPad or a computer, um, you know, whatever type of computer that you can change to make it easier to, for example, send, you can do it in class. So I've got my computer hooked up to my screen in class. And Mm -hmm. so I can send literally by swiping stuff to the screen as a side, um, 
I'm not, you know, like mirroring the screen. Mm-hmm. So that's, Extend the that's, monitor. Yeah, mirror the monitor and the screen. So I can have two different screens on there. So I can have different things that I'm looking at and they're looking at. Um, there's lots of other things like that you can do on your computer. Um, there's also with spreadsheets, there's other things you can do next to those. There's one program that's new out there called AppSheet. That's really cool that you can actually take a Google spreadsheet and there's an add-on that you can go with and you can turn that spreadsheet into an app. And so I can access my student list or my inventory on my phone. I'm still working on building that, that's new, uh, but you can do barcode scanning in it, you can do photos in it, you can do you know grading. I'm gonna work on um, evaluating the kids this year on my iPhone using an app that talks to a spreadsheet. And wow. so it automatically does all the calculations for totaling up grades. Um, I'm also you know, looking at doing a new gamify experience this year. Where we're going to try and sort the kids into houses in a, a Harry Potter style. Oh, yeah. Right? I'm going to make you talk about that after our break. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but, I, but I need to figure out an easy way to total up their points because in, you know, in Harry Potter, it's automatic. The teacher says, hey, five points to Gryffindor and the hourglasses just get five more gems. <laughs> that doesn't, I can't do that. But spreadsheets kind of can. They're kind of magic. Oh, they're magical. Not just yeah. fun, but magical. <laughs> yeah. So I can go on my phone and I can literally, you know, I have it set up right now. I can say, you know, hey, Siri, add five points to impact. And then it will run a code in the background and actually update the spreadsheet. And then in about, it's just a done. So there's five points now added. You know, it's stuff like that. Isn't so. AI just amazing? Because, I mean, it yeah. never rolls its eyes at you like, oh, my God, right now I have to do it. It never tells you it's busy. And it just, and I'll, I'll tell, you know, I'm a chat GPT queen. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. Mm-hmm. And I have, you know, I'll tell it over and over. No, rewrite it this way or do it again. And it's just yes. like, okay, I'm happy to, Leslie. And I'm like, oh, it's like the perfect assistant, isn't it? All this <laughs> AI stuff, if you learn how to use it and use it well. Because we got enough crap on our plates that we don't need to make it harder than anything. Exactly. We could make it easier, which is probably going to be better too and i mean if because yeah at the end of the day or whenever your planning period is you often don't have that focus that you need but you can use ai to really help with that so um i do want to dig into the game of finding just a little bit yes. but before we do i want to um uh, do a shout out to our sponsor which is the empowered music educator academy where they help busy band directors create successful programs build su- uh, supportive communities and feel freaking amazing by providing productivity and wellness tips that pers- that support professional longevity, and a healthy life. You're listening to the Band Director Boot Camp Podcast, brought to you by the Empowered Music Educator Academy. At the Academy, we're dedicated to supporting busy band directors like you with practical productivity and wellness strategies. Whether it's through our books, coaching sessions, or GPTs designed specifically for band directors, we've got everything you need to lead a successful music program without burning out. Let us help you achieve excellence in your work without working around the clock. All right. We're back with James Hargreaves one more time because um, he's going to talk to us a little bit about gamifying. And um, I know Sandy Osborne and some other guests have come on and talked about it, but I think you've got a little different angle as you're talking about some of the apps and stuff too. So this might be a different level than some of you've thought about differently. So, And that's my whole purpose with this podcast is to introduce some things so that if uh, you want to know more, you can find more, but we don't go super in depth. So um, just so you listeners know, we're going to be popping um, James's website in the uh, in the podcast notes so you can go and he's linked a ton of stuff for you to look at and check out um, about some of this stuff so as as you're listening to him talk about gamifying if you're like oh that'd be cool you might want to check out some of his other cool stuff so tell us how how you're using gamifying what you might be doing with ai and stuff to to take yeah. it to the next level uh, well you know i started the last couple of years just doing you know, sticker earning and badges. I, you know, bought a button maker so I can make physical buttons to hand the kids that they pass off all their scales and stuff like that. And that's really, I mean, I, I noticed that being a huge motivator for certain kids who just went crazy asking to test at, you know, coming in to get their instruments. The, the practice amount just went exponential. Um, it, I was very just impressed with how much it motivated them. And so this year I've been, you know, again, through some Facebook posts, other people put out on band director pages. And I was like, Oh, that's a good idea. Um, Sorting the kids into houses and doing a little bit of a team uh, atmosphere within the big team of the band. And so I'm going to be encouraging them to play off things. And as they pass off stuff that earns points, not only for their towards their grade, 
but also towards their house. And then I'll do, do a big reward into the year. You know, the house that has the most points gets an ice cream party, something like that. Uh, but using all the AI tools um, that are out there, I wrote some welcome letters. I developed uh, using Canva, you know, some images and some just fun things to make it seem like, hey, this is something kind of cool. This isn't just a grade in the grade book. It's fun. It's new. It's got, you know, color in life and you have a mascot and you have a motto and all that stuff. And it's building the culture of band while you're doing exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and just it advances it. So what I'm doing this year is I'm taking um, four, four houses that are each based on one of the articulations. And I just using that idea, I went into chat GPT. I'm like, could you take four houses like Hogwarts and make it based around the articulations of accent, legato, staccato, and marcato? And it was like, well, yes, those would actually. And, it, and I asked him, how would that align to the different you know, Gryffindor and everything. It's like, well, and it lined them up for me and wrote out some personality things. And I, I shaped it and adjusted it to where it would actually work. Um, but I'm actually very proud of what kind of came out of that. And um, so I'm looking forward to using it with the kids this year. I think they're going to have a lot of time, a lot of, a lot of fun with it. No, oh, I think it sounds awesome. Um, I had, as, as I've said a million times on the podcast, not taught middle school until this will be my third year in middle school after more than 30 years of high school. And so I'm fascinated with all these, you know, different ways of, in, you know, getting kids involved and um, making it, you're making it easier with some of the technology that's behind it. So you can focus on, on, you know, the other stuff, like having the kids play and doing those things because you got ways to keep track of it in the background and, yep. and all. Um, this paperwork. Oh my God, the paperwork that goes <laughs> along with everything. God knows we yeah. need help with that. So. There's always more. There's always more. <laughs> I know. It's like, oh, you get done so you can fill out another form. <laughs> okay. um, well, I want to thank you so much for being here today with us and being on Band Director Bootcamp podcast. And thanks to all you listeners who are making a difference in kids' lives through the magic of music education every single day. The work you do matters and so do you. Join us next time on Band Director Bootcamp for another episode of productivity and wellness tips to make your life a little easier.